full time. We're not gonna eat a four minute time sick or something like that. You can I think you can buy the achievements. I think you can buy the achievements. <laughs> Jesus. Um. I just know. I just know that like when the Xbox 360 first came out and they had achievements for the first time and all the games had a thousand achievement points or whatever and there was the achievement point like race to I guess see who was the best man I played so many stupid games to get the achievements for them like I don't know um but I think I burnt myself out on the entire experience because it stopped being fun <laughs> Like I play I would play the game so much and do a bunch of shit that I didn't like. Just for the sake of making a number go up, you know what I mean? Oh, so you're a mask is me, yes. Yes I am. Is that okay with you, friend? That's fine with me. I'm assuming your favorite game series is Soulborn. Hey, how the fuck do you know that? Honestly, that's not... Oh my god. Like, uh, the, these games aren't even, like, the hardest games I've ever played. Like, um, there's a game called Catherine. There's a game called Catherine that's, like, infinite hard hardness. That game is ridiculously hard. And it's literally just, like, climbing blocks. Not what I wanted to do, but But I enjoyed Catherine. It's just was super fucking hard. Also, uh, another another FromSoft game series that was super hard, but I really enjoyed, was Armored Core. Did anybody ever play Armored Core? That series is made by FromSoft. It's very good. I wish they would make like a current current gen. Like if PS5 announced that they had an Armored Core game, I would lose my fucking shit. Neo is hard? I did get that. Neo gave you some rough challenges. Please don't mention that PTSD of a game ever again. It's one game to find harder and gives you anger just thinking about it. That's getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Oh my god, that game is... Mm. That and Jump King. But I guess the getting over it, the, the part that makes it bad is the fucking dialogue during the entire experience telling you that you're just like, ugh. They should bring back the Armored Core controller. That was a not Armored Core. Uh, that was a game called uh, Steel Battalion, and it was for the original Xbox. And when I worked at GameStop, they had a copy of Steel Battalion with the controller. And I thought about buying it so many times, but it was like $300. And I was a fresh out of high school college student with no money. And I was not about to spend an entire console worth of money on a controller in a game that I wasn't even sure would be good. I'll tell you what, I really wanted it. The fighting is top notch. Hell yeah. Holy shit, is this the god run? The god run and then we miss her. 
miss her. Miss our, our roll there. We do know how to hit that ledge cor correctly, by the way. <laughs> Six keyboards, two monitors, and a game <laughs> Fucking truer words never spoken. Jesus, that game is awful. I don't think you could- I don't think there would be a situation- like, I don't know, I would- I would play that game for charity, is the only way that I would play that game on stream. Like I like it would be like a thousand dollar charity goal or something like that. Watching people speed run it, that that seems awful. That seems like some kind of tedium. Gotta go, they <laughs> gotta go to bed. Everyone have a great stream. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out with us, GTO Boba, and uh, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll see you back again. Watching, <laughs> I agree with you, Ace Fish and Dad. Fuck, fuck that game. It's just all painful. I don't know. It's also fascinating when people speedrun like games like this and games like that. Like, the only way you'll ever play Getting Over It Again is if you were offered ten million dollars and Markiplier asked you to be a godparent to his kid. <laughs> there you go. I did not even have an arrow shot at me. That was weird. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I would play. I would play it for a grand. I mean, it's not going into my pocket. It would be a charity donation, you know. Do something for like Children's Miracle Network hospitals or something like that, you know. Like that, he just 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 missed. Keep missing that over and over again. But I, I usually do not like, I usually do not like streaming games that I just actively despise because why? Why would you do that? Like, I don't mind streaming hard games or hard challenge runs, you know? But, but why would you just stream a game that you actively hate? You know?
It's not like that energy conveys back over into your stream and into chat and everything like that. And if you're just sitting there like raging at, at your game, I don't know. It's not my vibe. That being said, I, I love watching people like Tyler1 just rage out over stuff. I could never do it as my own thing, but like, you know, obviously I see where it is. Are, am I winning? So far this run's going good. But it's pretty early and I could fuck up. I could fuck up soon, you know? Some viewers want the rage, yeah. I mean, there's a market for it, you know? It's like, it's like the people that say um, the like hot tub streamers are taking away viewers from them. And I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not taking viewers away from me, you know? Same thing with the people that are like ragey gamers or whatever. They're not taking viewers away from me because that's not the vibe or the channel that I want to promote. I want to have, you know, a calm, mostly calm, entertaining, somewhat informed, you know, game session, right? Like, I don't want it to be just, you know, usually me being all thumbs or something like that, you know? I want to become a Nico Lolly VTuber? I mean, you could easily do that. No one here just talk about what, what games we'd stream? <laughs> yeah, I mean, got an argument with someone in a Soulsborne. Uh, hold on, read that in this at some point here. Soulborn Facebook group. Who is the true best friend Bay of the Souls series? I don't even know what that question is supposed to. Actually, screen patches. <laughs> oh lord. Uh oh. Nope. He doesn't care. Wait. Did I not get that bonfire? If I didn't get that bonfire, this is gonna suck so bad. Oh, we did. Oh my god. We're so good. We're so good at this game. Got free souls. Nice. Newsflash, uh, fighting Isha and Ashina at level 1 fucking sucks. You will get te uh, tinnitus from hearing the clang clang for 4 hours straight, holy fuck. Ah! I, I get it, I understood. That 
the no quit out swamp? It's pretty good. So our boy Dan has been on tree balls and surprisingly the last thing he attacked was the white grabby hands. Oh my god. Ugh, Dan. Dan my boy. He he is having he is having a time. He's having a time with Dark Souls. And honestly, like a couple a couple key pieces of information could save his entire play experience for for what's going on there. But uh unfortunately he he does not want any of that. Which is fine, I understand. I like the suffering too, but like not knowing to smack the all the little things, all the little white egg sacks on him. Like, I don't know. It's rough. It's It's rough having to learn that. Like, I don't I don't know. It's kind of like dad too. Like there was a few things that I that I'm just like dad. You could really you could really benefit from some key points of knowledge. One of them being don't use the giant fucking axe the entire playthrough and wear some armor. Yeah, yeah, he found the first big ball sack, but then he didn't recognize any of the other stuff. Big hand that keeps wanting to smash you. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Sometimes the obvious things are not... Not the obvious things. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes what's obvious to one person is not obvious to another person, so... Death Lord, thank you very much for lurking. I appreciate it, bud. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. How goes the runs? This run is going very well so far. But we have plenty of room to fuck up. So yeah. Uh, the last run was like... I'm sorry, I missed... I think I missed a message in there, so I'll have to go back and check, but... My, uh, my brain is occupied by not getting fucked actively by these... 
catacombs. Like I said. The way you kill tree is you pop all three sacks in phase one, and in phase two you pop the sack on his side, then the one on his back and smack it, smack his hand with the final two hits. I honestly think I have only fought the tree one time, and I killed it the first time I fought it. Um, and I just had like the the fire paper or whatever, and I just tore through it like. Bone Daddy wants you? Hell yeah. All the Bone Daddies want me. Wolnir is the the super vape lord Bone Daddy, and he definitely wants me. He wants my booty something fierce. Maybe you're starting to learn all bosses when you're good at any percent? Um, I definitely would like to learn all bosses. That would be a, that'd be a fun fun thing. I'd actually really like to get to the point where um, I can do a from FromSoft Gauntlet stream and just do all all five or six games or whatever back to back. Like do uh, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls one, two, three, and Sekiro, just like all of them in one one stream. Now, the last time I attempted that on a 24-hour stream, I got through Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne, and half of Sekiro. So. So, it's possible. That was looking hella sketch for a second there. Can't wait to see somebody speedrun all the Kingsfield games in one go. Oh god. Demon Souls, DS1, DS3, Bloodborne, uh, Sekiro. No other FromSoft games exist. That's not true. I was just talking about how I, uh, how I really liked um, uh, Armored Core. Um, which is a hard game, and definitely made by FromSoft. Armored Core, and nothing else, yes, and nothing else. It's really weird that they went from Dark Souls to Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it's kind of strange, but you know, um, I think 
I think that eventually they were gonna they were gonna f follow it with two. They were doing like a you know a pre sequel type deal. I needed to do a little bit more menuing there. I don't even know if the Carthus Rouge really makes a difference or not, but. Damn it. That's the one. So it's satisfying when you land a parry on Lorien. Like, who the fuck you slam me slam, bitches? <laughs> oh god. Uh, hold on, why, why am I doing this? Okay, dumb. Okay, cool. And we need... That one, okay. Alright, we're good. We're Gucci. Gucci Keen. Ah! But we didn't sit! Fuck. That's fine. That's fine. We could homeward bone back. If we get if we get fucked, we'll just homeward bone back. I don't know why I don't have my shield out. They were like planning DS2, but then they were gonna add some dumbass stat called adaptability that affected your invulnerability frames. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? <laughs> God, I'm glad I found out about adaptability early. That was something that was spoiled to me. But it was spoiled to me after, like, so much pain. There was so much pain that happened before before it was spoiled. I mean, I didn't... So, there was a lot of things that were good about Dark Souls 2. I think it's just... I think that you just have to play it a second time. Like, I don't... That was the dumbest shit that FromSoft changed. I mean, they were trying something different, you know? Because, honestly, the dodge rolling thing... It doesn't matter if you're playing a, a character with a huge amount of poise. And they made shields really good in that game. So, I mean... You know, for a character that does like, I mean, obviously it goes against the formula for Souls games nowadays because, you know, the the, the dodge rolling portion of, of gameplay is so prevalent, right? That like, ow, 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 what the fuck? Ow, oh, can't heal now. Lovely. This is super bad. Could we expect the change if uh, heavier gear didn't also influence your rolls too? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, uh, you know, for people that care about that kind of thing, like, Bloodborne is, you know, Bloodborne is really convenient in that, like, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that so much. Like, they just exist. Ooh, I got an Estus Flask. An Estus Refill, that's awesome. That's good RNG. Uh, 
I'm sorry, what? Thank you. Is that three? Me out. Thank the fucking Lord. Jesus. Oh, actually, I want to sell. I don't know why I did that. I need to. I need to talk to her first. Cause it's it's faster than using them. Souls like though, like uh, like it is East meets West Souls gameplay. Not to me. Stuck in the Deacon's mosh pit. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't know why that didn't hit him, but okay. Holy shit. Dying to him? Yeah, I know, right?
GG, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're gonna keep going because we're like still still on course for a PB, so. Neo definitely has souls like he uses that framework. It just managed to do its own thing and give itself its own identity in the process. That's fair. Would not let me hit his head to save my life, but that's fine. We just kept mashing L1 until it happened. Souls games aren't Souls-like for their combat or even for really for their gameplay. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, Souls games are Souls games for the concept of losing experience, progress, and unique weapon styles in a cohesive RPG. I mean... Persistent game world. Yeah. That's why, like, um, people get all up in arms uh, by people calling, like, Hollow Knight Bug Souls and stuff like that, because they don't feel like the uh, existence of a persistent world is a thing. Like, or no, the, 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 the weapons. You don't get enough weapon um, choices because you don't. Um, you know, it's, I mean, it's obviously like a Metroidvania. And then, like, Obviously, Souls-like is also... Souls games are, by their own definition, Metroidvania games, so... I missed it. That's fine. We'll live with our sins. Lose the aspect of souls. I mean, it has experience. It's just different. You know, it has money, and the money purchases similar things to like a a souls game. You know, but you don't get like you don't get to level up your character. There's different different things. Like instead of instead of you having you know Titanite, you have um, you know instead of you having uh, Titanite, you have fucking um, the, whatever the metal, whatever the stupid metal to upgrade your blade is, you know. There's a lot of similarities, but, you know, it's not quite there. Sekiro is also not RPG-esque in most ways. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's essentially a, you know, I mean, people make the argument that it's a rhythm game disguised as a Souls-like game, which is fine. I mean, Sekiro is an incredible game. Period. Sekiro is an incredible game. It is very, very good. It doesn't need to be a Souls-like. It does not need to have Souls anywhere near its comparison. You know? And some people say that Bloodborne is not quite Souls-like because, you know, it does not have as deep a weapon selection and it does not have as hard of inventory management when it comes to, like, your weight management because they just don't have weight management in um, in Bloodborne, right? But that doesn't make Bloodborne not an incredible game, right? Oh, please don't die.
Yeah, Bloodborne is a Souls-like. I mean, people have agreed that Bloodborne is a Souls-like. But, you know, I mean, you could still make the argument that it's not a Souls-like. You know? You would have a bunch of people that disagree with you, but you could still make the argument. I mean, like, it has Rally, which does not does not exist in, in Dark Souls, right? Um, and that, in and of itself, changes the whole pacing of the entire game. Like, it, it completely, like, rally, the, simply the rally mechanic in Dark Soul, in uh, Bloodborne, completely changes the game. Is not what makes a, a Souls game a Souls game? Yeah. Also, every weapon has two weapon styles in Bloodborne, which is incredibly diverse. Eh. But a lot of them are the same. Like, a lot of them are duplicate things. I mean, I also see Bloodborne as a Souls-like game. Don't get me wrong. That I'm just I'm just making an argument for the sake of argument. Like. Like, you know. People people argue a lot of different people argue a lot of different things. Aren't we fortunate to have so many amazing games? Yeah, all of these games are amazing. All of the games are amazing. Every Dark Souls game has added a new mechanic. What do you mean by that? What did uh, what did Dark Souls Three add? Luck. Sure. Weapon arts. Okay, weapon arts. I'll, I'll give you that. They definitely, definitely did do weapon arts. Frostbite as well. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I would consider adding a status effect like frostbite, um, uh, like a change to the game. You know what I mean? There's one other thing in the game that I need that for. And we need to make sure we equip the Pontiff ring. Uh, we want the Alpine here. Want this here, this here. Things, but you haven't played so much Convergence that you have no idea what. We oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so stamina right around when you get to the night. Please. 
Please have mercy on me, knight. Have mercy on me, knight. Don't fuck my shit up, knight. I'll go. Please. Ow. Ow. Why do you guys keep hitting me? Stop hitting me. Just give me my beautiful shortcut. Dedicated mana item? Yeah. That's... Yeah, being able to being able to uh, refill your mana with a dedicated mana item. I mean, there were other dedicated mana items in other in the other versions of Souls, right? You have like the uh, sorry for the re uh, repost, but fun fact: Did you know that the corpse you just recently picked up the emote from is an Easter egg from the ladder salesman DS2? Wait, what? Interesting. So this, this, oh, that's bad. We fucked up the we fucked up the good times. Right. Fuck you, you piece of garbage. It was not clean at all, but I will take it. Literally one HP. <laughs> Time to parry his bitch ass. Yeah, we missed the parry. We missed the parry. We're not a, we're not a hundred percent up on the parry, but you know. Like I said, we're still learning. I will take the the gist not dying. Pontiff is one as uh, one of the bosses. One of the bosses ever. I assume one of the best bosses ever made. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, honestly, I would have loved a dual weapon that used the Pontiffs with the offhand weapon. Yeah. I mean, that weapon set is just fucking awesome. One of the bosses that exists. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely a boss. <laughs> they say he's a boss. <laughs> They say he's a boss. Oh my god. Um, so there's a guy that I really like his YouTube channel. Uh, I forget what his name is off the top of my head at the moment. But essentially, he does like these weird comedy videos. Uh, and it's it's on Polygon. Um, but one of the things he did was he ranked. Oh my god. He ranked, he ranked Dark Souls bosses by, oh my god. Fuck you so much, god damn it. And I thought we were going to be clean, but we are not clean. Ah, uh, you just got shot with a lance, I know, I know, it's rough. And if I don't get those souls back, it's going to be extra rough. Um, but anywho, he, uh, it's, it's on Polygon and the guy, the guy does weird, like comparison research project things. One of the research projects he did was, um, 
ranking all of the Dark Souls bosses based on um, how how good of a boss they would be. Um. <laughs> and his videos are just always great. Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> I'll, ha I'll have to send you the link since you aren't in the Discord, but I'll, I'll send you the link. But his whole series, I know you don't do Discord. <laughs> but his uh, his whole like uh, his whole shtick is is that kind of thing. Um, like he rated all the Mortal Kombat characters based on their cuddle ability, ba based on their um, their strength as a cuddler. What about Skype? Oh no! Oh, got lucky. Got our souls back, hell yeah. Halo! Oh my god. Nine month resub? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, my dude. Welcome on in. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted. I'm trying not to die again. Go check out Halo. Did you finish streaming? Did you finish streaming tonight? How was uh, Dark Souls 2 or whatever? I know you were streaming Dark Souls too. Professional streamer Halo. Yeah, that's not okay. That's fine. That's close enough. Dark Souls three. How was that? We have we have beaten Dark Souls three once tonight already. We are we are working on number two, but at a much faster pace than last time. Did I somehow acquire souls from something? Rainer Sindel uh, would have been number one. If not, he's wrong. No, 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 no. So the, the number one, the number one cuddler in Mortal Kombat uh, is Raiden's brother, whoever the, the air guy is. Whoever the guy that controls wind. And I have to say that I agree. I am an airbender, hell yeah. Oh, I should reinforce the SS flash, I'm done. I have a. Do I have enough? Maybe? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Fujin. That's who it is. Yep. Fujin. And the, the reasoning for him being the best cuddler was he could just like temperature control, essentially. And I can, I can understand that. That seems like a pretty real reason for him to be like a, a good a good cuddler like I can I can get behind all that Bob said he ranked DS3 bosses on which ones he would be the best boss I did not I did not there's a guy from Polygon that did it um, and I don't recall his name because I'm really bad with names really good with faces really bad with names I'm actually surprised that I remember people based on their names in chat. As weird as that sounds. Oh god. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna... We're just gonna... We're gonna take a mulligan. My life! Are you kidding me? Uh, Polygon never uses arbitrary numbers. Yeah, they never use arbitrary. Numbers. Sounds like a, it is a Polygon art article. It's not clickbaity enough for Kotaku. <laughs> it's good. It's a. It's a good. It's a good article. 
or it's a it's a good report it's a good video he did one he did one that was like what is Kirby and that one was very all of it all of those videos are very funny here's a question where are my souls gonna be they are conveniently right here It's funny how that, like, literal no difference in distance. Piece of garbage. Please, for the love of God, stop, stop trying to kill me and die. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm so stupid. I was going to get a full heal from the fucking. Ah, why did I waste those? S We're not going to need him. We're going to be we're going to be a perfect dancer fight is what's going to happen. The answer kind of thick though, you're not wrong. GG's, thank you. I like this chill jam. Hey, what's going on, dude? Welcome on in Corpse Hammer. Hey, can I get a shout out for Corpse Hammer? I know he, he probably doesn't want me to shout him out, but can you shout him out? Because he's starting to get back into streaming. And I just want people to know that he is getting back into doing that stuff because I really appreciate him as a uh, as an entertainer and as a general human being. Is this a time trial official? It is a it is a speed run official. It is a speed run official. I don't think we're gonna get sub one hour because we've died, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on it. We're we're in progress. And really go to town on a motherfucker. Motherfucker. That's no problem. Guys, go go follow Corpse Hammer. He's a he's a cool dude.
speedrun and talking to the crowd. That's badassery. If I hit 200, I have to shave, shave her head. Wait, wait. Somebody has to shave their head. Ooh, nice. I like I like stipulations like that. This. Oh wait, where the fuck do I need to go? Here we go. I I got turned around a little bit because I don't normally do what I did there, but. Your mom has to shave her head. Hell yeah. She said she's uh, she'd do it, but she thinks she's uh, she's getting scared. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily hold her to it. Ow! 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 Ouchie! Ow! Ow! I really need to get better at that, or just do it the normal way. But I should just get better at it, and then I won't have a problem with it anymore. Hell yeah, the good RNG from the night. Right, get this little... little quick quick here. Bourgeoisie, what's going on? Sounds like mom's gonna need to learn about putting their money where their mouth is. Oh, what's going on, bourgeoisie? How's the how's it hanging? How's it how's it going? Took like a break from Storybrook. Yeah, that game seems like. Oh, I'm dumb. Ow. Appreciate the uh, meatballs leaving me alone. Wow. Is the real DS Ornstein? Um, so my thing is that uh, there's a statue of Artorius behind him, and I like to think that the 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 Dragon Slayer armor is uh, like a nod to uh, Berserk, because the Dragon Slayer armor is supposed to be like the the demon armor or whatever from Berserk. Um, are we gonna do sub one hour here? I don't think so. I think I think it's not gonna be a sub one hour. But I would like it to be a PB. That would be incredible. That would be a nice thing. Um, in any case, one hour, seven minutes. <laughs> I mean, that's what was called at the beginning of the stream. 67 minutes was the uh, was the, uh, the the new PB called by Asher. So we're just gonna we're just gonna try and do it. PB at the beginning of stream, yeah. And what's going on, Sigbra? How, how are you doing? How is grinding for even lower times? Oh. Yeah, we didn't get jizzed on. Well, we got jizzed on a little bit. Oh, God.
kind to the guy that challenged me yet. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but, you know. Doing kind of alright, hell yeah. I mean, you know, that's all we can ask for. Ah! Hope to see you in my DMs. There you go. Sub 105 is definitely possible, yeah. I mean... I, I probably will still get the uh, the safety bonfire at Prince's, and then hopefully I don't take too much damage. Halo in the house! This is no just on playthrough. I I don't I don't think you know, but we got we got kind of sprayed on the back a little bit, which is fine. Which is fine. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna give it to me, at least give it to me on the back. Now. Gotta head off, but I wish you some good luck on your runs. Hell yeah. Ace Fishing Dad, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated, bro. Ah. Don't mean me. Don't mean me, please. All I'm asking for is, is a good Prince's fight followed by a good Soul Cinder fight. Is that too much to ask for? Probably. Ow. Asshole. Ow. Oh, don't hit me with your big ass sword. Why anyone wouldn't follow Halo is beyond you? I mean, some people don't like to, you know, some people don't like to take the chance on people. And and just see what they're what they're like, you know. There's a lot of there's a lot of streamers, so it you know, I I understand people not wanting to follow, especially like right off the bat. But I mean, I love Halo. What? How many months am I subscribed to you? Fifteen months or something like that? Like forever? A actual forever? Fifteen as of today. There you go. That's where I said it. My opinions on him. Ah, you asshole!
Thank you. know where shit is. So when do you use the homeward bone? Because I can't ever seem to get it. Oh, we got the fucking skip there? Oh. Lovely. Oh, right there. Right there. <laughs> you do it in that spot. <laughs> you do it in that spot. Yes, but you can't get the rippers on the parry. You can only get the riposte to Lorien if you stagger him. Oh. Alright, just don't fuck up. That felt good. That felt good. I'm my own PB name. The Sob Run. 10508. Here we go. 
God. That felt good. Oh, sob run for the win. I know, right? What did we, uh, what did we, who did we dethrone? I think it was the orphan run. So orphan, if you're going to get, uh, if you're going to get dethroned, you know, might as well, might as well be, be the run. So knock seven minutes off my PB. That's pretty good. That's pretty good.